Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, so today I thought that I would just do a very, very, very short haul um, just because I've recently acquired some stuff that um, just because of discounts at work and stuff like that, I've just bought a couple of things which I would say are very outside of my comfort zone in terms of clothes. Recently I've just been inspired to maybe change my uh, wardrobe a little bit just with pieces that are maybe unusual but you can still wear casually. I thought I would start first maybe with clothing because I feel like maybe that's more interesting and it's definitely some of my favourite items I've ever bought. Um, Alright so let's just get stuck in. Um, so the first thing which you guys have already seen in my video, I think it was like my lookbook video, it's not something that I bought but it's just something that I've got um, through my sister but I just felt like it would be interesting to show. Um, it's this little backpack that my sister gave me because um, I asked for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just been a really useful item recently. It's really small, but it's just, it's done me wonders because when I go to work, I don't want too much more than just a book and my purse and my keys. So in terms of just like handbags and stuff like that, this is so comfortable. Yeah, it's just, it's very, it's very hassle free and it's small and convenient. So yeah, this is definitely just like the first item which I wanted to show you guys. And also I want to let you guys know I might try and um, link down below all these items that I put um, just so that it's convenient for you in case you actually want to get them yourselves. And this bag I got from Topshop, well my sister got from Topshop. I don't know how much it was but probably no more than 20 I would say. And if you're a student you can get 10% which is quite cool. <laughs> and then the next thing that I got was these trousers just like three days ago. I was having a really bad day at work and um, it was a really long day. And there are these trousers that I was eyeing for a really long time and then because I just didn't feel great I thought I would treat myself and I got these trousers in the end. So if you can see they're kind of like a really dark navy and they have um, this really silky like darker navy stripe going along the sides and they're like high waisted. Um, I don't know what you call them, um, like slacks? I don't know. Um, but they're just really casual trousers and I'm going to wear them to work. Um, and they were $24.99, but with my discount at work um, from H&M, um, 25%, I think I got them for like £18, which is really cool. So yeah, definitely a really great steal. Oh, and I should also show you guys the fact that on the end of the trouser, there's like a zip, so you can actually kind of like open up the bottom of the trouser just to make it maybe a more evening look like with some stilettos if you wanted to I'm not sure I'm gonna try it out though with I keep hitting myself <laughs> I'm gonna try it out though with um, different looks so I'm gonna wear them to work probably tomorrow and then maybe try an evening look as well with them because I feel like you could style these up really nicely so yeah that's piece number two the third piece my favourite piece and my friend, my roommate, has said that she's going to steal them and we will see about that. Um, but these are also from H&M from work, they're from the trend section. I bought these trousers um, with the, oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys have seen these on Instagram and all over YouTube, people buying them. But these are my babies, they're so amazing. Um, they're these like long pants with like a high waist as well, like an elasticated high waist. And like the buttons come undone on the sides like those they have a button that comes undone and they are just amazing so comfortable and you can wear them like dress them up dress them down like I've seen um, Sophia from Sophia and Chinzia she wore them with like stilettos and like a, a bralette to her nasty girl nasty girl event and I've been wearing them just like with my Stan Smiths and like a long coat or even my um, my suede um, suede blue navy jacket. So you can literally wear these however you want. I can wear them to work, um, I can wear them to like my office job, I can wear them to H&M, I can literally, they're just, they're so versatile and they were just a great steal. I also wanted to note, tell you guys that these do run quite, um, how would you explain it? They run quite large. Yeah, they run quite large because I got a size eight in these and they fit even still quite loose on my waist. Um, but for these other ones, the navy, the other navy ones, I actually got a size 12 because my bum just would not fit through the size 10. It fit, but it just was too tight on my bum. And then I also bought one top. I'm going to show you guys, but I'm actually going to return it because I really didn't like it on. I wanted something to wear with both these trousers that would look nice, but it just ended up looking really not my style. But I'll show you guys anyway. So I got this top from work from H&M. Um, it's like got frills on the sides like this and like one on the back as well 
like that and I thought it looked really nice and it looked really nice on the model and on another friend of mine and I just didn't try it on um, I just kind of snatched it because it was the last one in a small but only to find out that I just really don't like it on I don't even think it looks that great like looking at it anymore to be honest the frills are just quite overwhelming for me but I think this just fits girls who are maybe just a little bit slimmer than I am I don't know um, I don't know what it was about it but it was a really nice idea what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this for a top with no frills and just a simple white top like this with just a round crew neck because I think it would go really casual like wear nice with those two trousers so yeah I thought I'd show you this guys but yeah I'm going to return it it was, it was $12.99 yeah it was $12.99 but it's not worth it I don't think so next I was just going to go on to like beauty products and stuff like that and accessories. So only one accessory that I've bought recently, um, I think like last week, I bought this really nice just necklace, um, silver one. It's got like a sturdy like round like circle thing um, and yeah it just goes like this to be honest, yeah. And I just thought it would be really simple. I'm trying to... Um, Kind of acquire slowly slowly more necklaces because this vibe that's been going on recently of people just kind of wearing multiple necklaces i think looks really nice and this is one necklace that i just never take off even when i'm showering or anything like that i'm never taking this off so i just wanted to kind of like build a collective something that would kind of draw attention maybe to my decolletage a little bit more so this this is just one um one thing that i bought which i thought was really nice and i think it was no more than four pounds um, from H&M so and you can see the correlation right now everything's um, everything's just been from H&M because of just the discount and um, I've been finding some really nice stuff whilst working there then um, I'm gonna actually go on to my foundations which you've seen but they're brand new so I thought that I'd add them in here it's these two products the stay perfect and airbrush away number seven just wanted to add them in here just because I would strongly recommend them if you're looking for like a lightweight foundation that's um, covers you well but it still kind of um, keeps you looking natural and um, yeah and it says up to 24 hours wear and it definitely does do that um, I put like obviously like setting spray and, um, and I do a lot of stuff with my face to keep it on but I find that these products are very very good and ever since I've switched to number seven for the past I want to say like three years my skin or not even three maybe two years my skin has just really been so healthy and it's just repaired so much from when I was using Rimmel and Maybelline and those foundations which just broke me out so much. So one final thing that's new is this Cover FX product. Um, it's like a highlight in the shade Sunlight. It's like a light highlighting powder and I've actually not been using it as like actual highlight. I've been using it um, actually after my foundation I actually get a um, I'll get my kabuki brush and I'll just put dust some onto my face just to give my, my face just a little bit of shimmer because um, I don't like too much of a matted look recently the, the shimmer comes through um, on my skin I feel so yeah I definitely would recommend this for anyone who's looking for something just to give their their skin a little bit more of a glow um, and then just the final final thing um, was the collection um, brow kit that I got um, it's just something that I think a lot of people have um, that I know I've seen people use it of uh, either this exact one or just the collection brand in general it's been really useful I actually um, really really enjoy it because recently I've kind of been doing my eyebrows myself and I'm not very happy with them um, so I've been filling them in a little bit when I can have time before work or something like that but um, yeah it's just like these really nice three shades um, that I've been using the two darker shades. Definitely would recommend this one. Um, it's called the Natural Collection Work the Color Eyebrow Kit. Yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, I'm hoping to do probably a few more hauls, but first I actually have to collect stuff because this is kind of months, maybe even six weeks worth of collecting stuff that I've bought because although I have bought quite a bit it seems, um, I don't usually really go in, in one round and shop a lot of stuff. I'll usually just wait until I see something that I really like somewhere and then kind of just snatch it. Um, like I just treat myself like once a week to something sometimes. And like I said before, I'll link everything down below so that you guys can see um, if you want to purchase it yourself as well. One of you guys suggested a university tips video and I'm actually going to plan to do that um, in one way or another sort of as a university tip slash just my university journey um, going back. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to film that when I start uni which is in about 
three to four weeks so hopefully you guys can stay tuned for that one as well i'm planning to kind of get my friends in it as well and show you guys some of my favorite people from uni and just yeah people i live with as well um show you like yeah my roommate and everyone if they want to be in it it would be really nice just to have a video of memories as well with them hope you guys have a beautiful week and i will see you guys very shortly hopefully all right take care ciao